volada con We lay our crowns And we worship And worship All be lifted Oh Lord Above all other gods Yes we lay our crowns We lay our crowns And we worship you Praise God. Amen. Yeah. 
When they came in there, I mean, when I saw them at the, at the coffee shop, I asked them, Baba Funa, 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 Baba so just to welcome everyone, and we, we, we are just going to continue with um, our teaching that we had last week. That's Chronicles chapter 29. Is chapter 29. From uh, but the key verse, I mean, you find it verse 14, but you read from verse 1. So verse 1. And but we are not going to read today. And just to recap with those who were not here last, uh, last week, we just want to highlight some few things that we spoke about last week. Uh, we spoke about the foundation of the kingdom of God. And the foundation of the kingdom of God, it consists of two things that we need to note. It's God's responsibility and human responsibility. And those two things, if they are not there, there is absolutely no kingdom. God, God rules in heaven and has delegated authority for us to rule on earth. It is a shared, it's what I can call it, a shared responsibility. So here in First Chronicles chapter 29, we read about the offerings for building the temple. And um, with those offerings, I mean, David setting a pace for, I mean, for the offering. And he was the one who led by example. By making sure that he gives generously. One of the things that we need to note as believers in Christ, nobody owns, I mean, nobody has ownership over his life. I think we mentioned that last week. Not a single person who has, an own, who has ownership over his life. When I was officiating a funeral, I mean, uh, yesterday, I made mention of uh, uh, this uh, in that funeral. That, I mean, yesterday it was a Mamnochenge. Mm. And who was 68 years of age. But two weeks ago, I was officiating another funeral. Of a 30-year-old. There was, was a younger brother to Pastor Mbewana. So, you see, this thing, it's not about the age. It's not about how, many, how old are you. It's all about the owner of life. If Uchiko Akafuni no bombako. If God does not allow anything about your life, it, it is not going to go away. You are not going to be taken. Because no enemy has the I mean 
the last say over the life of a person. So what I said yesterday was the fact that, I mean, I mean we have lost children at the age of, I mean, uh, some at birth, some at one year, yeah, or, or two years, five years, ten years, five years, I mean, youth, I mean, young people. The, the fact remains nobody has ownership over his life. We need to make sure that we commit our lives to him who owns, I mean, our life. The, the, our life. So David, from verse 10, we read, after people have given, after David has given from his own treasure, and then about David, then in verse, in verse 10, he said, the Bible says, then David blessed the Lord before all assembly. As it was man. And, and he said to this assembly, Blessed are you, Lord God of Israel, our Father forever and ever. Yours is oh, oh, Lord, is the greatness. The power and the glory. The victory and the majesty. For all that is in heaven and in earth is yours. All that is in heaven and on earth is yours. That's David's word. Yours is the kingdom, it means kingdom you rule over everything. And, oh Lord, and you are exalted as head over all. Both riches and honor come from you. And again, you reign over all. Then he begins to say, God is the head. Of all. And number two, not only is the head, but he reigns over all. Now, in your hand is power and might. Praise God. Amen. In your hand, it is to make great and to give strength to all. You make great, you promote, in other words, and you also give strength to all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I, verse 14? Verse 14 David, it continues to say, David, whom am I? And who are my people? That we should be able to, to we should be able to offer so willingly as this. And so willingly, I mean, um, uh, as this, for all things come from you. Everything. David acknowledges the ownership of whatever we have. Whatever we think that we might have developed with our own strength. That strength also comes from God. There's not a single strength that comes from human beings. Because he spoke about might and he spoke, of, he spoke about that strength also. And sometimes we forget when we are blessed and when we receive God's things. When everything that we think we own lands in our hands. We say it is mine. We must understand this, that 
everything that we have is a gift. Once we acknowledge that in our lives that everything that we think we own it is truly a gift from God. to go back just to refer to this I mean, to what I said earlier on. As a person who always officiates funerals, I truly understand when people when I officiate those funerals, looking at people who seem who were said to be good people, and we ask our question, why did you allow this to happen to this person? We thought, I mean, this person, we thought this person is he not or she does not deserve to die. But we come to a point of understanding that everything that we have it's a gift. And we have to understand that if we are going to talk about giving, we must have this foundation of understanding that whatever you think that you own or have, you absolutely own nothing. Because when you die, naked you come and naked you go. Where the people that decide the family, let us, I mean, uh, uh, clothes, I mean, uh, uh, put on a suit or whatever. All what is going to go under, I mean, uh, 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 the earth is going to rot. You are going to get your pants from Shaba, Iabola. Amen. Amen. Because your life belongs to God. If you have departed from that void, go to be with God. And go to a waiting room. And it depends where you are working for. I mean, so David says here, for all things come from you. And of your own, we have given you. I want us to mark that again today. When David said, of your own, we have given you bread. We have to come out of the spirit of mammon. Every time when we think about giving, we think about money. Giving begins from your heart. From, from this understanding that you do not have ownership over your life. Therefore, when you do not have ownership over your life, give everything to God. Give first, give your life to God. To the Lordship of Jesus Christ. The one who purchased your life to his own blood. And your sins were forgiven. Sins are forgiven because Christ was a gift. If you don't understand that, then we will never be in a position to give anything to God. First gift that we have is the gift of, of, of eternal life. Precious as it is because somebody divine person with, a, with his own precious blood, sinless blood, paid the price of our sin. Jesus truly was a gift to us. Every one of us, we were bought at a price. That's what the Bible says. Don't you know that your bodies were bought at a price. Jesus yes. has truly had ownership of our lives. He was the precious gift. First gift that we can begin to think about when we are saved. Therefore, our giving of whatever we think that we own God has 
given us the ministry of stewardship. We can have this understanding. By the way, I did not have ownership. That's exactly what David is teaching us here. And David is actually saying to all of us as we are here this morning, you do not own anything. By the grace of God, I mean, if I may put it this way, when we grew up, then we were given a car that was, that was, we had chicken. And my mother would say, that chicken belongs to Udipiwe. And that one belongs to Christopher. And then they will begin to, I mean, to have chicken, chicken, zizale, and about zali, they will look at, I mean, the one that has I mean, more chicken, that is productive. But Amen. Amen. it has got a name attached to it. But in fact, you do not own it. Still ownership belongs to your parents. When they want to slaughter it, they will ask permission to say, we want to slaughter yours. Now we get to see the And then we will say, they are going to slaughter my chicken. I mean, your siblings. <laughs> you see how, ma, how fed In my is. In the true sense of the word, it does not belong to you. It's just the name attached to you. Praise God. Amen. So Amen. And I wonder if we can come to that point of understanding. That's exactly like that, whatever you think that you own. Normally. When you grew up, also there was a song. I mean, so I want to go to former mother. See, now, about what? No, they say they would say, Incomo, Yenkoma, thank you, thank Now, when you grew up again, that's cool. When you don't have, I mean, cattle. And people will borrow you in trouble. Your neighborhood will borrow you, or somebody will, you are related. They will borrow you a cow. And that cow maybe give birth. To, yeah. And one, two, three. As you are milking the cow, this, this, uh, this proverb is taken from that. Because you can milk, you can have milk. But you still do not have ownership Ibe over that inge, cow. Inge but it belongs to that person who, who borrowed it. Uh, then it, it's, you are taking care of this cow. When again we can't taking care of home. children. You sit down and milk it. And this. you do not know when your neighbor would come. And and they, please bring it back. So when they would say it means a cow that you, I mean, you have been borrowed. We are saying you, you milk you it. Milk. Yes. You look around. We are chonga, is, is my neighbor not coming to ask for it. Now? You send a bag. Oh, okay. You're not sure about I mean how are we going to, to have this milk? Because can knock, can come and knock and say, Hey Meli. Bring back. So bring back the cow. It's a, it's a loan. It's a loan. Okay, it's a loan. You milk it. God, we thank you. 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 We thank you.
still looking around. Can come um, and can come and take it again because it's not yours. Because you put it in your car. You do the thing, it gives birth to the, um, to the young one. But Mshabu Makelone becomes jealous. Then perhaps the neighbor will be jealous and say, why is it fat? It's Let me go and fetch him. So that's exactly where it comes from then. Praise God. So, um, now when I look at that, I liken it with what we have. I'm I'm giving giving you illustrations for one reason. Everything that you think, I'll never forget to say this. You, you think, think you own. You own. You own. You own. You own. You own. The first ownership all by your life is God. It's God. It's got a final say. You may not wake up this month. You may not finish your journey if you say I'm going somewhere, whatever. There are a lot of good people that we have buried that are said to be good. Who are involved in accidents. When I would think about Tatu Tot, when I would think of Tatu Tot, my first pastor in the Full Gospel Church of God, he was working for government career. Then he was driving this car and going somewhere. His wife came at work and then he had to take the wife quickly doing something. And he was involved down. in a car accident. She died on the scene. The wife, I mean, was taken to hospital. Then, I mean, they were trying to operate the wife and because of some uh, complications. But she 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 complications. That she had done that, but the wife was pregnant. So so was pregnant. And she died. And that man, la, la, I can attest was a good, he was a good man. What leads us to think is that God can protect us from women. From, 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 from going to be with him. So what makes you to, I mean, I mean you must think, 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 think about it. What is it that you are living for with your life? Is it who benefits out of your life? Let me just make an example. Has a Kaya was sick. And Has a Kaya the king. Has a Kaya the king. Has a Kaya the king. Has a the king. of Israel. Was sick. Why Kula? At the point of death. And at the figure like a feni. The Bible says he cried before the Lord. It was Kala Pam Kuatiko. And reminded God. And said, you know how I have ruled your people in righteousness and peace. The things that I did for, for, for your own people. He cried before the Lord. And the Lord sent a prophet. I tell him that I'm going to give him more other 15 years to live. Praise God. Amen. The point that I'm trying to raise this morning from the life that we have, your life is a gift. Because verse 15 they says, for we, we are Aliens and pilgrims before you. Now, the truth remains. Let's count it and write it down. It says, My life is a gift. 
Ipale pansi uti ubo mi bam kesi si And po. number two, your okay. health is a key. I imbi lo le ya ko si si po. That time that you know, you just want to listen to it. But you can write it and remind yourself. Unga ipala pansi solo kuz kumbuza. Number three. Okay, start. Your career is a key. I career le ya ko si si po. I'm educated. I have done this and this. I don't owe anything to anyone. And your career. You forget that those days when you were studying, God preserved your life. There are some, a lot of people who could not finish their studies. Some because of health and some because they could not pay the, I mean, their fees. But when by God's grace you are where you are and you begin to boast and say it's my career, nobody can tell. That is a problem. That's the problem that you have in life. And and you have wisdom. wisdom. And worked hard for this degree. No, no, forget about health. I still remember when I was studying. Then the twins were, were born. Then there was a problem. That I, one had his or her twin between us. So, and now I'm writing exam. And 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 I found myself in the between the two. And I was in my house to talk with my wife. Because it's not all about you. Lendo, I There are people that have contributed in what you are. And sacrifice their time and everything. I had to leave her with twins. And, 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 and when she was owning a BNB, went to a BNB to study. But while I'm there, I get a call. I'm phone with this thing. So that is the problem that we always have. Every time when we think that we own, praise God, because I could not, I could not finish that. And again, what happened when I was about to write exams? My my brother's son committed murder. And that, that, that brought me into total confusion. And I could not start, I could not do anything. There are a lot of factors around what you can claim to be yours. To come to your own strength. To to your own wisdom. No. It it cannot be your own wisdom. It is the wisdom of God. And with the people that have contributed, that God has brought around your life. You know how we live in these days. We live as if I've done this with all of with all my might and all my wisdom and effort. Never even forget the preachers. Who strengthened your life. When you are discouraged, they, they encouraged you. They gave you a message of hope. Because not only that you think that, I mean, you, you will make it because you start. There are certain things from your family. When you go to that paper and write and study, that, that stood, I mean, that was there, and you cannot take away from your mind. Thank God for these services. Why do you receive the word of God? And that word begins to encourage you to revive your life. Praise God. There are a lot of contributing factors that have made 
to you to be where you are today. Zikoni zindo ezeza ngezele la uba zbenga kaba kulendo okuye na tanch. I always quote the saying of Mbiti in his book when he says, "I am because we are." Di atanga kuda netike man tin 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 because nani nikwa. Ah, it is Malugia's thought. Amen. We to look at Mbiti. We are to look at one another. Go, it is the it is umtu. Gumtu, gabantu. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God begins to organize a group of people who will be friends, will be what they contribute a lot to your life. Uchiku shangani sabantu, whether it's show, but kuzi wabele ma kolobo min baku. You, 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 you stand up and pray. Yone ka usi mutanda. Don't forget people around. Suba liba la banda baku kwa se kare mwa ako. Because in most cases, preachers are forgotten. Yeka sa dizaba shuma yete ba adija. And yet, these people have contributed a lot to your life. I know a lot of people within the ministry who are in senior position who openly confessed that they were not no, unashamed. And said to me, remember the teaching that you taught us some 20 something years ago when you took us as leadership to Port and John. In, 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 in about, I mean, about, about certain goals. Go you can not be as popular like you cook these days. Some were directors in their campus. And they directors in their I mean, I mean uh, uh, to work. And and were able to utilize that teaching. They asked me. Where did you get this? I, I said to them from church. In church, is there's a lot that I hear, even people when they say they would speak, I mean, I mean eloquent. And I would see that he has hidden God. God is becoming clever. You will see that or his own right. The person is, is instructed from the Bible. Now, your intelligence I, I, is a gift. I, 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 and I, 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 I just want to talk about this thing. And when people think that I'm wise and whatever, your intelligence I, I, is also a gift from God. I, 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 I just give you an example of I mean, just I mean, an example. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that, I mean, but for, for anything, but um, the Bible was the weight and he says, You have seen because how my weight was, and you can see how I look now. You can see how I look now. Truth must be told. And you mustn't be jealous. <laughs> you can see how I look now. Now, during that time, Gela Aisha. I was going to share some few things. I was a little bit forgetful about things. I was bleed out, but I was forgetting. And and that has happened as I'm beginning to drop my weight. And if, I mean, if, if I can sit down, I would say to, uh, to, 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 to myself and and the thing, and and. and, and uh, Bring credit to my to myself. I would say, yeah, I've made. I've dropped my weight. I've, I mean, I'm regaining my memory. I've dropped my weight. 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 I've dropped Amen. Amen. It is not easy to cut uh, I eat something. small portions. And the food, and I see people, and my food, and I see people, and I see people, and I see people, and I see people, and mine, I know the portion, but there's still much I need to do. But the credit, it goes back to God. God, I get credit to you, and I will have to see it. Well, give me that strength. And as a result, I'm regaining in memory in, in, in back I mean, again. So my mind is sharper 
than it was before. I remember things even if I'm preaching. And I will remember is the example of it when I'm preaching. So, your intense is a gift. Just released a profound statement. But <laughs> you are in full and they talk about the Kukuma. No, Kukuma. Intelligence. In what I'm at is the gift. In the gift. In the, what I'm, I'm at is the gift. That whatever God has endowed you with is a gift. On the land of my own, you took out Nikai and I said, No, I'm saying, my Jim Jim. Forget God. Man, your strength is a gift. That's so why the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, Thou shalt serve the Lord your God with all your might, with all your mind, with all your strength, with everything that you have. Because all these things they come, the problem that we do not want to acknowledge God. Once we become God, I mean, you know, when you think about Daniel, Daniel, shake and a bad no, me shake and a bad nico. Daniel, me shake and a bad nico. With Daniel, no, me shake and a bad nico. Ubulum ko babo was from God. Babo suga utiko. But the king of uh, 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 Nebuchadnezzar, I'm not putting. Oh yes, Nebuchadnezzar, the Babylon. Uh, uh, Babylon. Thank you very much. The king of Babylon. Who come can go say Babylon? Had given instruction. For those young men who were captured, taken captive from the nearby neighboring countries, Israel, because they were actually king of Babylonian the Babylonian kingdom. Now, he said, What? This young man chose young men. What can stature? What is the name of the of 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 stature, stature. and test them in wisdom and so that we can train them for our government. And then one of the things that he mentioned is a special diet for them that will contribute to their wisdom. So the diet here kings. I don't have fun. Get work. Now, the ordinary kings. Diet for the kings uh, was the kings was servants or officials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, like a good official. But Daniel and and his colleagues. Uta, uta, Daniel can have another way. Kunya na. Pillar, the irish, they refused. Bala. To eat the king's delicacy. Bala, ukuta ke ukuta ko kumkwaka kumkan. They said no. Since I was young, I was from all trouble with sugar. They because. said, we are going to eat the way we are used to from home. And as a result of that, I want to cut the long story. And mm -hmm. the Bible says, says, God Utiko. gave them wisdom above all their colleagues. All, all those who were fed with king's delicacy. They were the choicest for the for, for, I mean, officials to rule in the kingdom of but, uh, of Babylon. Everything that they would say when they were asked, they acted, they brought glory to God. It means God was involved. In their spirit, your personality is a gift. Your personality is a gift. Your children, they are a gift. Those who think that they own children, you do not have ownership. You have been given a ministry of stewardship. You of care of your children. But regularly, we ask, yes, we know that you had attachments 
Amen. To, to your children. But God, can you take them anyhow. Your friendship. The friends, the people that God has brought around you. That, that is a gift alone. Your possessions are a gift. Your accomplishments are a gift. Your wealth is a gift. Whatever you think that has passed through your hands, God has allowed it to pass to you through those hands. And we can acknowledge that in life. Then we can be entrusted with more than we think that we owe. Because that's exactly what the Bible says. That God, I mean, I mean, gave people, I mean, a few talents. The the one gave five talents. And the one two. And and the other one one. But those were given five. They went and made business with with them and they multiplied. And the two did the same. They multiplied. And the one that who had one talent, he did it in the ground. And when the master came for accountability, and those who had I mean, multiplied talent, they accounted, they gave account for what they did. And the two again. But the one was given talent. One talent. He, cho- he chose to, 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 to hide it under the ground. And the Bible says, he, he commanded the one who multiplied and commanded that the one was given a tool. And he said to the one who was given one, you unfaithful servant, I'm putting it my own way, you knew that your master whips where he has not sown and you should have taken this talent and made, and, 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 and made business with it so that it can multiply. multiply. And the Bible says he who has much much will be given it's not about what I have much I know and I keep it. it. It has nothing to do with what you have. It's understanding that what I God has entrusted me with. Like David, I must give it back. And God will begin to entrust me, entrust me with more. And the Bible continues to say, He who does not have Listen to that statement. He who does not have. And there's a contrast there. But the Bible will will say after that, even what he has will be taken away from him and will be given to those who know what to do. When they are given, given talents, it's a mouthful, my salary. Because but he who does not have, it speaks about your spirit. It you have a poverty spirit. When you open up your mouth, I do not. I do not. I have nothing. What am I going to give? I do not have anything. It, it, uh, I've it, got this edge where you have committed those debts. yourself to my dad. Who are go and come before God and say, it's I have nothing. you who went to all these shops and whatever and open up accounts and hire purchase and everything. Because, because you wanted to please your flesh and your ego. You wanted to be known among people. That I am. Praise God. So when it comes, 
when it comes to accountability before God for what you have been given. You say I don't have. And yet there is that you have there. And the Bible says even what you have that you need to have when you don't know it will be taken away. And be given to those who know how to manage the things of God. Hallelujah. Who know how to manage the things of God. That's why this principle is stretched a lot. The principle is stretched a lot. Nobody, I'm saying this again, nobody owns Oh, 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 anything here. When the money figures out there, when the money lands in your hand, you got to uh, <laughs> What is the You want to correct things. When you are being fluent, correct things. And you think that error, I agree. You want to correct things. You want to look things. But let's go there. We, we are going to start somewhere and, 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 see, and we walk together. I want to know. Because all this time I did not know it. You claimed to be, I mean, to be my child. You were never. Your accomplishment. I want to repeat that your accomplishment. I have few sheep at home. Which I just, just bought studying to have a small scale farm. I started dying. I started getting sick and dying. And goats also. Because then goats are over to die. You know, yes. Understanding was right. I do not own. Ownership is restored. Every time I would pray, the Lord save my uh, uh, sheep of God. Save my 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 God. of God. Save my sheep 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 of God. Save I did have some medicine to take it then, whatever, teramycin, the tight head, and whatever. I had to go and seek and seek the wisdom from the people that I'm in Africa and that was started. What I'm trying to say is that you think that you have accomplished in life. It's from the hand of God. As a lot of my prayer is that we, we, we understand. All nothing, everything that you have is a law. Thank God. Amen. Thank. So that don't forget. Amen. You know, things that God has blessed us with, we benefit from them. The problem is that God, we take full ownership and say it belongs to me. The understanding that we should be having God has seen it does not. I mean, I don't have all that support. Even if it it's gave birth five times, no, we must know that we will make it with a Let I will not try it. You cannot slaughter it. You can only milk it. Eat the milk of the things God has given you. Bringing back what belongs to God to God Christ. will never just come in and give you a gift that you are not going to benefit from. But at the back of your mind, 
so good to make a rest by the alcoholic. Don't say to yourself, it's this belongs to me. He gives it to you for a little while. And he says, Uti. take care of it. He says, take care of it. He says, take care of it. See, Pastor uh, Kwasaba, and no, it's not a book about me. They've been given this ministry of Elijah, including all of them, ba, those who are sitting there on the left. Oh, 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 they are not going to. So if you do not take care of what has been entrusted to you, there will be a time where it is not going to serve you. How is that going to happen? You will be retrenched. Thinking that you have got a salary. You will be fired. Not knowing the reason. Everything I was doing at work. You will be sick. We are cool. And you won't be able to go to work anymore. Because is one. Because the problem is one. You think that Lendo people don't understand. Where it comes from God. Everything careers that I've mentioned, they come from. Jesus was the first gift that for our lives. For us to have this gift of, of, of eternal life. That's why we do things anyhow. When it comes to God, we don't think that you need to serve God with your possessions. With the possessions that God has loaned to you. We hold on these things tight because we think it all belongs to us. Like I've said, sooner or later you'll understand. That ownership is not there. We are like little children. Who hold on things. I do not want to part ways with it. I don't, don't want to share it with other kids. God has got ownership. Hallelujah. Amen. All it turns to dust. Everything that Bazabana is in I. Whatever that we have, saints. And when I was at Forte, doing theology, Theology. There was this, uh, our lecturer was lecturing in systematic theology. Ukwana from UK, it's from Britain. It's a British. He said, what? everything that has been created what do do has got a warranty. What do wa and he said, day by day, it loses its own beauty or whatever strength. He said, even human beings. Everybody that is at work. Yesterday, you had strength like this and say, no, I was not here. But this other day, especially people that are getting old. When they reach 50, they don't want to admit that it's getting a little bit late. And the lead does not want to. He's asking questions. What is happening to my knee? You are getting old. At who? Nobody wants to, to hear that. I don't know how to age. You age again. Now, Bob, I need you. I'm not to love you. 
Water is not a pillar plant we like. Everything that is under the sun. It loses its or originality. And everything. Professor Williams said. Uh, Professor Williams, that what? That is why we need to take care of the buildings. What you understand is Katalelek is a kiwo. Make sure that we look after everything. You look at big things. Look at what has happened in Cape Town. In that precious library. Where the university has lost information about. university information. Work that has been I mean, done for many years, people going traveling overseas mm -hmm. for research. For in, I mean, interviewing people. For that information to be there. Time ever, I mean, deceived yourself. You do not have ownership in everything. But you have been given the ministry of stewardship. Next week we'll be talking about. I mean, uh, this dust thing that we have just spoken about. Hallelujah. And then we, 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 we will dwell on that dust. At the end of the day, we are going to go back to the dust. They, they are losing their text. You wash them. You, you press them. We iron them. Then you lose yeah. text day yeah. by day. Yeah. 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 There were no factories in the wilderness. There were no shops. But God preserved their clothes. For 40 years. The, the other one will grow and live it for the next one. The other one uh, is born. 40 years. It's 40 years. ownership. You buy it today. When you talk to me, I'm going to change. Tomorrow is torn. Still paying it in it, it, it gas. You are not crying. You are crying because of the debt that is there. Or fortune, fortune, take what? Fortune. Or macams, I'm a dude. Macams. We are coming as the camera sister. Men. Sit here and see my leg. Because. But the man told, do you want to tell me that the Israelites did not stumble in the wilderness? But the Lord preserved the clothes, preserved everything. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm closing with that, Lord. When it is in the hands of the master. God is able to preserve it. If it is not offered to Health of the master. Yes, yes. You have a responsibility to take to make sure that the God is not destroyed. But you have the coastal of the is not destroyed. You have preserve the, the possessions of the righteous. He keeps them that people get amazed. And people will ask you, why are you having that secret. You ownership. Amen. And you glorify God with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God, let us Amen. stand. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We are lifting up Jesus who was the first gift in our lives. And you know, we have no absolutely Christ became a gift. Bible it you know He was made sin literally. When people were piercing and doing every fitting on him, then they made him sin. 
Abantu bemtiko ya lage bemensi so. To him they give them and they have a crown of thorns and put it on our head, on his head. Ba bemsi lage tsa ba sa meva ba sa kaka buye ntoko. Is the worst sleep. Ba bemsi tiki ngo sasa na so ni ke school. I try the Bible through the I mean writings of Paul. You under the Bible lage ngem ngem muatike sa Paulo. He who knew no sin. It is law or wine as an inner son made sin. When we saw so that you and I we might become the righteousness of God. That God gives us this righteousness without working for it. Who died on the cross? Who pays the price of your sins? All those people put him. In putting those sins upon him. They thought that they are doing fine. They didn't understand. But that your sin. They were taking your sin upon you. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your personal sin, accept him now to become your king and allow him to govern you. He said, my yoke is easy. It's not bad and sad. Jesus will take care of you. Pray this prayer after. Lord Jesus, I accept you as my personal Savior. I allow you to be my Lord, to guide me and in all what I'm doing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. This program is brought to you in partnership with the Bush Christian Campsite, located in Coleridge, about five kilometers from the East London Airport. Enjoy our outdoor gym facility with nature as your backdrop. The campsite exhibits nature's beauty and is the perfect getaway for visitors seeking peace and serenity. Enjoy our conference and intimate wedding facilities and host your life's special events. Delight in our wonderful self-catering chalets built with absolute comfort and enjoy your home away from home. Entertain the little ones in the kiddie zones. Host kiddies' birthday parties and fun activities for them to enjoy all day long. Come dine with us in our dining area and relax in our swimming pool area as well. Leisure in one of many recreational areas on the site. Catch up with friends and loved ones over a cup of coffee in our coffee shop. The Bush Christian Campsite, a home away from home. This program is